Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel today. Some hours ago, the permanent secretary of IPOB, that's Indigenous Civil Law Biafra, had taken a social media, taken to a social media page to warn all those who ought to channel all their energies to the release of the Mazenam Bikano, the leader of the Indigenous Civil Law Biafra, that is in detention in DSS custody. But rather, they're looking into the fundings of IPOB and she actually made the bold, made bold statement that they should desist from it but they should channel all their energy to releasing their leader because she's taking note as she's watching it generated a lot of reactions people are wondering what could be the issue uh, and let's take it a bit backward some some a week ago there about about seven days ago there about it was made very public where one or two persons had Come on, I think they said they are part of the directorate. They didn't mention who actually they said that um, they realized that ever since Mazin and the Kano was in detention and that somebody somewhere wrote a petition against uh, the banks they are using to get fundings for their support, financial funds for their support. So hence the bank was, um, the account was suspended. So hence their needs to open another account. That Mazenam the Kano gave the instruction to do so. If you check our video, you see the video go down way down there. Where we asked we actually started asking questions like how did Mazenam give that instruction? Mazenam the Kano is in detention. I said when he was in detention, even DSS didn't give him access, they didn't allow even their lawyers access to him as that then. So where did they get the information and all that? That was actually properly dealt with there. But they said they got the classified information giving them to go ahead to open that account fast forward right now the secretary gave a quick headlight on what possibly will be going on as we speak now there's a bit of um confusion account has been given some said we shouldn't some said they should some said it is fraudulent a lot they're going to get all the feedbacks and of course Mazen and Kano's brother has reacted the secretary has reacted Simonipo has reacted it's just the only person that's, that's yet to comment now is Ima Powerful and a whole lot of the Biafran followers are waiting for the response of Ima Powerful because over the years it has always been Ima Powerful that is the media and publicity secretary to this effect they're going to get all this into one because people are asking questions what is the line of auction? Where are they going to contribute all their monies for? And all whole lot. Before we do all this, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, uh, some hours ago, about four or five hours, as I'm some filing this report, Simon Ekpa, who also had, who also doubles to be the disciple of uh, Mazin Abdekano, had come on air and displayed a new account an account that was not the original account that was being paid for during the time for for support for their movement but right now he actually displayed a new account saying that that is the account they should pay for all their support of all kinds now later on some hours after or some minutes after another person came online Maybe their brother or so one of the brothers or so he said his name is Kunuata Kano. Kunuata Kano. He actually went ahead and explained that any account that is not from his brother or from a particular directorate should be ignored that it is fraudulent. Now now let me explain properly or rather let me read exactly what is written there. One Kunuata Kano, where people assume to be the brother of Mazenam Kano, had brought his own attention to the whole IPB family. And this was what he wrote. He said, Attention, you can't use your positions in IPOB to defraud the family members. Your hashtag corporate account or corporation account has nothing to do with hashtag ESN or hashtag IPOB. Those Biafrans that failed in hijacking IPOB's account in 2015 through 2016 are on it again. Very soon, I will make their names public and their country of residence. Now, this was what was, was written on the account. It said MK, MNK, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, newly approved accounts for ESN Worldwide and IPOB National. Now they went ahead and wrote all the account details, but his brother, or his, what people who people called his brother, because I, I really don't know much about him, he said that, that that account is fraudulent. It is a personal account, but the name is not even carrying IPOB, it's carrying one Omo 
almost something now I'm, I'm going to get to the name now he said it's a personal account but of course people have had also you know clouded the uh, clouded the page of uh, but insisting that he makes a video saying that he is approved and all that because a lot of persons already know who IPOB family is but going through the pages a lot of people are talking now we're going to read some of the pages some of the comments made on the pages of Simonipa over that same account details he released you know now one John one John Omema wrote on uh, Simon the past page a lot of comments. I'm just to take maybe random page, uh, random talks. You understand? So here it says he told Simon Ipa. I said, look, if I should ask why did why did Simon Ipa not oblige to IPOB under DOS? I don't know what DOS means. Maybe it's Director of State. I guess I do not know what it means. He said, I remember when Simon Ipa told us to go and enter Biafra, not knowing he was using Biafra Restoration to be the personal online blog. Please, Mister Simon Ipa, let's not derail our struggle for personal wealth. God and posterity will judge all of us. Free man's and I'm the kind of Biafra, our last bus stop. A lot of persons have come for that young man's head, saying that how dare he call Simon Ipa that he has been there, he has been very consistent, and he has been speaking for you know Biafra that he shouldn't have called him out and calling him such names. This one here also said on his page, I'm getting all these comments all from the page where it was written that that account people should start paying into it while uh was some other person i said don't pay to their account it is fraudulent it is actually those who want to hijack you know the account for for monetary reasons so they can de you know uh, derail or defraud the organization now this one here also said all real biafran account must reach mrs Nenanya anya and she has every details concerning any account no one should come here to confuse us. I'm sensing that Mazi Simon Nikpa is not following the instructions. Even I have not heard him speaking on our main radio Biafra station. Though he's working well, we need to be one in this struggle with one decision. Let him work with others. And in this struggle, work has been splitted. All due process and protocols should be followed. Not at all cost. someone will come online on social media talking where to pay money and where not. Let him follow others. People are talking. Honestly, they are really talking. This one here is a please inform our people the difference between the two accounts because most people don't check the number before spreading the news. I guess obviously there are actually two accounts in this case. This one here is saying this ESN account details for the donation. Simon Nepal, you and the DOS should address the issue in your broadcast. Then post the video image and writing for people to know which of the accounts on the previous post is the genuine account for it. A lot of people are talking. People are wondering, is the account being hijacked? Uh, the, some persons are saying it is fake, that it's a personal corporate account. Some people say it is original. Simon Ipa himself posted some of the pictures saying that's where the account should be paid for. Some persons came immediately and shouted it is fraud, don't pay into it. While hours before the secretary, Prime Secretary has warned that people are looking for the money and they're not you no know, more putting their energies on how to release Mazin Americano from detention. The whole thing is getting all out. Like we always say, synergy, one voice helps everybody in one stage. But if a situation, this one is talking from here and that one's talking from here, it makes it a bit people begin to wonder who are we listening to? Okay, so but when it comes to the issue of funding, personal opinion, I feel that the issue of funding should come from those who have always been talking about the funding. It shouldn't be somebody coming newly to start talking about the funding. Personal opinion, though, you know, but that's where we're going to wrap it up. What's the take?